Well, hello, No Excuses Scholars. It's Wonder Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. We're taking a look at our college vocabulary word, education. And yep, that's what we're all getting. It's a process of, of getting and acquiring knowledge, of learning and developing skills. And I love this question right here in this box. Why is education important? Have you ever thought about that? Is it important to you? Think about that. Why is education important? I'd love to hear some responses. And teachers, if you have this conversation, let me know. Come up with reasons why is education so important? Let me know. All right, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand, raise your, put your hand over your heart, and ready to begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. You all may be seated. And hey, we're talking about perseverance this month. And we're going to be looking for those who show it, who never give up, right? And I love even that little picture of Miss Michelle pushing that rock up. Perseverance, not giving up. That's That can be you as well. Hey, it is um, Random Acts of Kindness Week, and we've been doing it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So it's all this uh, February 12th through the 18th. And since it is Kindness Week, check this out. Wednesday, tomorrow, or today... Be kind to your classmates, right? Be kind to them. I'm sure you can be. Um, how could you do this? Well, could you give a classmate an air high five? Could you say good morning to five of your uh, classmates? Or invite a new classmate to play with you at lunch or recess? And thank a classmate for their kindness. That's, five, that's a bunch of easy ways to show kindness. And on Thursday, it's be kind to your friends. Hmm. So you could tell a friend a joke and make them laugh. You guys tell me jokes all the time. I love it. it makes, it's the best part of my day. You can invite a friend to sit with you at lunch or call or message a friend you haven't seen in a while. That's a way to be kind to your friends. And Thursday's activity is you're going to undercover kindness agent. Select a friend and an act of kindness that you would like to carry out. The object of the activity is to deliver your act of kindness without being caught. Ooh. You can write a note, share a treat, uh, do someone a favor, but it must be done on the DL, the down low. Shh. Don't let them know you did it. Well, today for Black History Month, we're going to take a look at Charles Richard Patterson. Yep. He founded the C.R. Patterson and Sons Company, which was originally a carriage building company that built uh, vehicles that horses would carry around. But then he turned it into the first black owned automobile manufacturer. He started building cars. Now, what makes the story even more amazing is Mr. Patterson was born into slavery in April, 1833. And then in 1861, he escaped, moved to Ohio, and again, became the first African-American owned car manufacturer. That's incredible. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. What a amazing story your life is. All right, it's time for lunch. Of course, it's Wednesday. We have pepperoni or cheese galaxy pizza, side salad, fresh apple. And then tomorrow on Thursday, we have turkey, ham, and cheese deli grinder, Doritos, bunny carrots, hop, hop, and a fresh pear. Yum, yum, yum. Well, yes, it's true. We're going to have a minimum day on Thursday, tomorrow. Dismissal is 1140. Yes, 1140. Please tell your mamacita and papacita. We don't want you here the rest of the day. We want to go home at 1140. And then on Friday and the following Monday, there's no school. Wow. We're going to have a four-day weekend. I know some staff that are very excited about that as well. Well, hey, it is Wonder Wednesday, and I found this picture of Casa Rosa Hotel in High Grove. Yes. So I wonder, where was this hotel? I have no idea. I could not get enough information as to where exactly it was, but it was here in High Grove over 100 years ago. 
So I wonder where was it at, and I wonder who came to stay here. Interesting. Well, it's time for our joke of the day. I found this one. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Hmm, that's a good question. We don't have too many squirrels right around High Grove, but they're in Riverside. So what do you think? How do you get a squirrel to like you? Any ideas, any guesses? Let's find out. You act like a nut, right? Of course, you act like a nut. All right, send me some jokes. I need some more. And scholars, education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Have a wonderful, wonderful, Wonder Wednesday.